Rejection. How do you guys feel when you get rejected? Do you take it personally? Do you realize it usually has nothing to do with you? Unless, of course, you purposely act like a jerk. But sometimes girls like that. And you can get more results like that than you can by being a nice guy. Nice guys finish last with girls. And nice girls finish first with guys. Now some girls get screwed over by being nice to guys. They get taken advantage of. Just like some of you guys have gotten taken advantage of by treating a girl too well. But once again, it doesn't come back to you. It goes back to them. If a person can't accept the fact that you're good to them. Now, when I'm talking about being good, there's a difference between a good man and treating a girl good than there is to being a nice guy. Most nice guys have an underlying motive. And girls can read that. Most girls can see right through your bullcrap. <clears throat> You may be one of these players that can manipulate and lie to girls, but eventually she's going to catch on to that. And even if she doesn't, you'll pay a hell of a price for that down the road. There's a difference between being an honest player and a straight out liar to get what you want. I've seen both and I've done a little bit of both myself and it did come back to bite me. I used to brag that I never told a girl I loved her to get her to go to bed with me, to get her to sleep with me. But I sure led them to believe that without ever saying the words. And I led them to believe other things to get my way. And a lot of times men don't even realize they're doing that until it happens, until it comes back on them and they contemplate their life and look back and think, I was really selfish really only thought of myself and what usually happens to those men is they end up by themselves empty and broken <clears throat> but now I'm not talking about a player who's honest a player who is up front and the girls know he's a player but they just want to be with him because he's fun that's a different thing than uh, just going out there and blatantly lying to get what you want and manipulating people purposely and then usually going out with your buddies later and laughing about it. Um, but what brought this on was the rejection I was thinking about because I get on dating sites and if I'm going to travel somewhere, I like to maybe meet a few girls before I go there on a site, uh, find out some girls, find some girls from that country and maybe meet up with them. Kind of have something prearranged before I go. So I'm on this site called uh, International Cupid. There's quite a few of them. There's Ukrainian Date, there's Colombian Cupid, uh, I think Brazilian Cupid, Latin American Cupid. So I guess this girl was trolling <laughs> through, the, uh, through the men. And I randomly get this message from this girl from Brazil, and I'm going to read it to you because there's some haters out there. And it says... Disgusting. Don't you have a mirror? That's her first message. The second is, and you're demanding she's physically fit and loyal to you. <laughs> Honey, it won't happen. Not even if you're super hyper rich. Now, this is just a regular dating site. It's not a sugar daddy site or anything like that. So, and this girl, she's mid, as my sons would say maybe a five, four or five. Uh, I would say that would depend on her personality, but she's shown me what her personality's like here. As I said, I didn't, I may have looked at her profile and not commented on it. Maybe that was what, I don't remember looking at her because I look at so many girls on there. But I didn't message her, I didn't hit a like button, I didn't hit anything in this girl. I'm guessing I probably looked at her profile because I did look at some girls from Brazil and maybe because I didn't, or maybe because I passed her by, it pissed her off. I, I don't know. <laughs> Hurt her feelings. She may have felt rejected. But the reason I brought this up is because when this happens to you, whether it's in person or on a dating site, don't, don't take it personally. When a person says things like that about you, it's only a reflection of how they feel about themselves. 
people don't randomly cut people down or try to hurt you, and that's what this is, a shaming tactic or a, a uh, an attack, whatever, unless they feel badly about themselves. Now, we could take a guess here. She's about 27, <clears throat> probably single. She says she's seeking a male 28 to 50. And what did she say? You're demanding she's physically fit. Well, I'm not demanding anything. <laughs> It asks, of course, and it tells you to say something about yourself and then what you're looking for. And I can't, uh, let, me, let me see what I'm looking for here. I'll just tell you guys. Uh, profile. No, that's not it. Bear with me here. Let's do this. Uh, view profile. Okay, we'll view, my, I'm not gonna view her profile. <laughs> I'll view my profile. Okay. What am I looking for? Well, that's that. That's uh, personality. Well, can't seem to find it. Hopefully, it's on this one. Let me go down to the bottom. I can vaguely remember what I put down as what I desired here, but I wanted to read it just to. A little about yourself. I like to stay in shape, work hard, travel, and meet people from all over the world. That was my, about myself. I don't like putting a lot on there and I don't recommend you put a lot because people don't usually read it. What you're looking for in a partner, attractive, physically fit, good personality, which that girl failed on, <laughs> uh, educated, loving, supportive, honest, and sincere. So apparently that struck a nerve with, <laughs> that struck a nerve with her for some reason. Maybe because, as I said, I may have looked at her profile and wasn't interested, so she took that as rejection. So, the point of all this is, is, and that was a pretty rude and um, direct rejection there, is these people, more than likely, she's 27, she's probably had quite a few relationships, maybe she's been married, maybe she's got a kid, I don't even know. Um, and she's probably been burnt by a few guys. And maybe the attitude she got from that, or maybe she has that attitude, and that's why she's been hurt. Uh, but people don't lash out at you like that, unprovoked, unless they've got some damage within themselves. So whether you're in person, on a dating site, or wherever you are, when someone rejects you or attacks you or, or does some hating on you, it usually has nothing to do with you. Like I said, unless you've said something or done something directly to that person, so don't take it personal. It's not a reflection of you. It has nothing to do with you. And don't let it stop you from continuing to put yourself out there and meet people and, and meet girls. I've met a lot of nice people online, a lot of good girls online. I've talked to some, some I've met in person, some I've traveled to meet in person. Um, it's a wonderful way to meet people. Back in my day, as you guys know, I'm older. I'm surprised she, <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't go after me about my age. I had one girl tell me the other day, you're old enough to be my grandpa. And I'm like, that's true, I said, but your grandpa can't do things for you that I can do for you. <laughs> I will tell you, years ago, that used to bother me when people would say those things to me, but I've realized that it, it has nothing to do with me. Sure, if they want somebody younger or, or maybe they want somebody older, that's a personal preference. But the people that are like that, they don't come attacking you or trying to cut you down or or saying anything like that. As I told you when we started, that's a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. This lady, as I said, she's 27. She's getting probably, she could have been running around since she was 15, 17, 18 with a lot of different guys. And, and I know some of the Red Pill community talks about this. She's getting to where she wants to settle down and now she's thinking, where are all the good guys? Well, she had all those good guys, but she passed them up thinking she was going to find someone better. Now she's getting older, she's wanted to settle down, and she's having trouble finding 
the quality of men that she could find when she was 18, 19, 21, 22. And it kind of pisses them off. And I don't know, I'm just guessing that could, that may not be the situation, but it's possible. Or maybe she just got out of a, out of a relationship with a guy long term. Uh, maybe he cheated on her. Who knows what the deal is. But I guarantee you it's not you. Especially if you haven't even said anything to her yet. So don't take it personally. Don't let it stop you from continuing to get out there, put yourself out there, and live your life. If you see a good looking girl and you want to talk to her, whether it's online, in person, just go ahead and do it. Just do it. Women usually will not approach you. You have to approach them. Be man enough to do that and don't be afraid. Well, you're gonna feel the fear. You're gonna be nervous, that's normal. But just face the fear and it will disappear. I heard a guy say that once and it stuck with me. So that's all I have time for today. Remember, you are what you want to be and whenever you project yourself out there, that's what people will see. So take care, have a wonderful day.